All right, hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. So tonight I was going to try and play Borderlands 3 with some friends, but um, Borderlands 3 was just taking like forever to install and it wasn't going to be done in time. So I decided I would just go back to Chrono Cross and hopefully uh, next time I will be able to get to Borderlands 3. So honestly, I have played this game for almost 50 hours. It just like keeps going and going. I honestly do not know when this game is going to end. I keep thinking that I'm at, going to be at the end and then I am not. I think this was the last save. So last night, I think it was, yeah, it was last night. I, um, was it last night? Did I stream last night? Okay, well, whenever last time was, I woke Kid up from her coma, and Terra Tower appeared on the ocean there, and we gotta find a way to get to it. Um, and we, I think, well, from what I remember, I think we also have to find the Chrono Cross, because I remember, like, being like, somebody said, like, oh, you have to go find the Chrono Cross. And I remember being like, wait, what? That's like an actual thing? Like, it's not just the name of the game. So I don't know where to find it. I actually don't even know where to go now to like, even to like, get to the Terra Tower. So I don't know, maybe I'll, um, what? <laughs> What was I told last time? I'm trying to remember who was supposed to help me. Maybe somebody in Goldov? Oh uh, well, I have Stina with me. Okay, well we'll just we'll just check around. We'll just talk to different people and see what we can find. So here's Terra Tower. Do we don't know how to get up there though. Because there's been no flying in this game except for the Wingipede. Okay, so I and I read you could recruit Mel, the little blonde girl in Goldove that stole kid stuff. But I don't know how because when I talk to her, she doesn't like want to join or anything. But I did her little side thing where you ha you had to like do it to recruit her. So she stole Kid's things when Kid was here. And then Kid was like, or Serge was like, oh, let's go after her. And Kid was like, no, it's okay. And then I, I was like, no, no, let's go after her. You can like choose not to go after her or not. And I chose to go after her. Not with Blondie today, Serge? Oh, I think that means I need Kid. And I just got her back, so maybe that's what it was. Like, I didn't have Kid because she was in a coma. Okay, so that means I'm gonna go over to the save point at the Chiefs or the, uh, what was she called here? The Elder or something? That must be the Terra Tower that the folk legends refer to. I never thought I would ever see such a legendary tower in my life. Ancient teachings fade with time and new systems are born. We humans follow time's flow. Where will we be when the planet stream ends? That is the question being asked of us now. Okay, so there's a save point in here, so I'm going to change to kid and see if I can recruit Mel. May the blessing of the goddess of fate be upon we children of the planet. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna need, like, to fight. So maybe we'll, we just won't equip her with anything for now.
Okay. Oh, Blondie. Um, I have something I want to discuss with you. Oh, I guess she's not blonde. She's a redhead. Mel is. I thought she was blonde. Huh? You need to talk to me? Go ahead, speak up. Uh, Mel would like to speak to you in private, if possible. Sure, whatever. That's fine with me. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Actually, I, um... Sure, you got it. This problem was driving me up the wall, too. Mel, I understand your feelings real well. Don't you worry, I won't get in your way. Thank you, kid. Then please take Mel with you. Oh, and kid, take this as a token of our promise. It's a special frame in Golda made called the Gold Do Do Goldovian Stitch. It's got a cool looking pattern, so I'm sure you'll like it. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, now I have Mel. Should I try her out? I guess I will. Okay. So, let's take... Viper and Riddle stuff off and... Take Mill and Kid. Okay, uh, Mel's defense is really bad, so she could use the defender. We'll just give Kid these. Don't have any better weapons for Mel. Maybe uh, we can recruit Korcho back too. Because I talked to him before, but he still wouldn't come with me, even when I was Surge. Actually, let's give... Let's give Kid the Dreamer's bandana. So Kid has a lot of slots in level 1, which is nice. Because that means I can equip a bunch of attacks and healing spells. Get this. Throw a whole bunch of daggers at once. Uh, yeah, I don't remember her getting that. Okay, I'm gonna equip a few like high level elements in here. Well, then let the game choose the rest. I'm 
give her a few more healing things here. Okay, now we do fill blanks. Okay. What did you give her? Anti-blue. Uh, okay, I guess that's fine. Okay, why did you give her two magnifies? Okay, so that's fine. Oh, milk and steel also. Doodle. Use your opponent as a piece of drawing paper. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to see that one. Tantrums. Stamp on the ground so hard it causes quakes. Wow, really? Okay. Okay, so I like to put most of um, my healing spells in the first few levels because, you know, if I'm in trouble, I need to get to my healing quickly. I just gave her Electra Jolt. Uh, she could have Electra Bolt. Yo, Commander Shepard, what's up? How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, Negate Physical. Okay, that's a good one for her to have. a few high level spells or elements they don't have to be spells and then I'll just let the game pick the rest what are these emotes <laughs> uh yeah I don't know just default YouTube ones I guess I clicked off the game Unfortunately, I don't have access to um, my own emotes yet. Not until I get YouTube partner. Lost. Um, give her a meteor shower here. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna go talk to Korcha, but I do want to try Mill out in battle, so I'll have to go to some random place and try her out. Yo, Surge, nobody's called me lately, so it's been very relaxing. And let, take it easy with that boat I lent you. Don't forget, it's my favorite boat, you hear? Oh, wait a minute. Oh man, you're leaving me behind again? My mom makes me do a lot of chores when I'm here. You guys have the, my boat, so I can't leave the village either. Oh, sorry, Korja. Come on, sir, do me a favor and take me with you next time, alright? Oh, hey, wait a minute. I think I did. I think I did equip, or equip, recruit him. And then that reminds me, I have that new frame. Well, damn, you gotta be partner for emotes. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, YouTube is definitely, uh, is definitely a long game. But I mean, I knew what I was getting into. Like, I just thought that YouTube was going to be better long term, but I, I, I already knew that it was a much longer road to partner than, you know, Twitch affiliate. But I was prepared for it. I 
know if I like this, uh, this window frame. The good thing, though, Commander Shepard, is that you can, I mean, you could stream on both Twitch and YouTube, just not at the same time. But you can still try both platforms out and, and see which one you like. Mm, okay, I don't think I wanted to go to this Marbule. I think I want to go to the other world Marbules. Yeah, I don't know where to go because I don't know where to get uh, get the Chrono Cross. I think Stina told me about that last time, maybe. I might just have to look it up. I'm so glad I do not want you to experience the pain of losing someone very dear. Okay, I don't think I like this window frame because there's just like a lot of colors. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read. I'm gonna go back to the iron plate. I think that looked the best um, against the chat overlay anyway. I want to today, but I gotta wait 24 hours. Yeah, they have to do some sort of, like, verification. And then I had- I also- I had a friend, um, who also submitted his verification, and, um, he just kept getting the message that it took- it was going to take 24 hours, but he had it- had that message for, like, a week, and he just, like, contacted YouTube about it and they fixed it for him, so if that happens to you, then like, YouTube, just like, put in a ticket with YouTube and they should be able to get you going. YouTube, I think, definitely does like more, um, more like checks and security with their accounts than Twitch does. Hopefully not. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, hopefully. <laughs> but that's, that's the first, uh, one I've ever heard of that happening. Like, he's the only one I've ever heard of that happening to. And, um, YouTube has a Twitter team YouTube. Um, let me put the link. Oh my god. I almost knocked my mic over. Um, let me put the link in chat, but like YouTube has this um, really good Twitter account and they, I see them responding all the time. They're called Team YouTube. And people don't even tweet at them and they just like find um, they just like find people with YouTube problems because people tweet about like, oh, I'm having a problem with YouTube. And they just find it just because, like, they have YouTube in the tweet or they have, like, a hashtag or something. But they're, they're like, really, really good at responding. So I would definitely tweet at them if you have any issues with the verification. Oh, oh, wait, what did they say? What did that guy say to me? He said all the same stuff, so I just, like, ran away, but then he said something at the end. Say, why don't you go and talk to the village chief before you set out? His house is past those gates down yonder. <gasps> I've never been there before! They, they would never let me in there! I wish the legend were, was true, though. The Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately, huh? What? What are you talking about? What? Dragon T King Palace? Is that the Terra Tower? Sergi, check out the sawfish. Possum ate it? Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty. Mmm. 
Okay, so maybe the village chief is going to tell me more about either Terra Tower or the Chrono Cross. What in heaven's name is going on here? Just follow your heart and see it out to the very end. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Now off you go. Hey, Sergi. Do you know what's a popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, the monsters that eat fire. I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I could beat those monsters. Oh no, if I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Okay, that's the same thing, but he has always said to me. But yeah, Commander Shepard, if you have any other questions about YouTube, let me know, because I've had to learn a lot about YouTube just like on my own because um, nobody else I know, like, <laughs> did the move over. So I've just had to learn a lot, like, on my own. Okay, I think they're pretty much saying the same stuff to me. Um, this merchant might have some stuff. No. It's all just little level stuff. Okay. Let's go down to the village village chief. So I've never been allowed down in this area before. Never. Hello there, Serge. Long time no see. I hope you're keeping up with your studies. That's if you want to become a fine adult like me. Who's this? Marshall. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Maybe next time. What? This is a dog that talks? Hi, Sergi. So is Lena still mad at you? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised if the dog talks, because I have, well, not a dog, but I have this, like, creature in my party. It looks more like a Moogle. A Moogle from, um, like, Final Fantasy, but, I mean, he talks. Banji will never live up to Radius's legacy as village chief. Wait a minute, what? Radius was chief? Oh, Chief Radius, please come back soon. What? The record of fate has spoken. The world shall be engulfed in a sea of flames. As long as fate deems it so, no one will be able to flee. Be on your guard. I see a figure am amidst the flames. It is you, Surge. Um, okay. Well, as we found out, fate is a computer. It's a program. So if fate deemed it so, it's still- it's a program. Like, they could program it to not do that. Come on, Surge. Stop getting in my face. That's exactly right, Serge. There it is, the record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you happen to cross one of those, don't forget you to record everything you've done so far. Think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do to about it. Okay, so those are save points. Oh, but those are records of fate. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. Okay, so when I was in Chronopolis, um, they had those everywhere, but I didn't... No, I didn't realize those were the records of fate. If you listen closely, the fate of record of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next. And when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. When that happens, you should just go home and go to sleep. There isn't anything you can do to change fate. Okay, interesting. Okay, so when I was in Chronopolis, I did learn that the people at the research center and fate were like guiding people which m meant they were like controlling them through the record of fate and i guess this is how i mean they didn't like they kind of explained it at chronopolis but like not really they just said like oh we use the records of fate to guide people and we can control them with using neurotransmitters if you want to record what you've done so far step up to a record of fate and open up the menu then select the block you want and follow the directions to save. Easy, isn't it? But you should go look for another one. I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh yeah, and if you go out onto the world map, you can save without a record of fate. Wait a minute, was- could I have gone down here before? Because this seems like, uh, like instructions for the beginning of the game. But I thought I was not ever allowed down here. Like, I tr I've tried going down here before, and the game never let me. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He's such a bright, cheerful man. 
Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Wait, so Radius is chief? In this world? Long time no see, Surge. Make sure you keep up with your studies instead of just running around playing. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I kind of have things to do. Okay, so where is Radius? It says, the ecstasy and anxiety of the chosen one. A mega babe is in love with me. Wee! I'm on cloud nine, but I don't want to get dumped. It tells of how naive the hearts of men are. Only Chief Radius can come up with a golden saying like that. Okay, well, where is he? He's saying something different. He says, Serge, you're turning 17 soon, aren't you? What do you say we men head out to sea and take on a lion shark? Only when you've defeated a lion shark can you call yourself a true man of the sea. Hee hee hee. Okay, but what? But earlier he said something about going to see the chief. But now he's not saying it. Okay, so... So where is Radius? He's not here. Between you and me, I've been hearing voices, you know, inside my head. Something about praying to Lazery, Ori, and Licky. Even if you had all the money in the world, what use is it if you're dead? Even if you had eternal life, what's the point of each day if you don't have love? Stuff like that. Weird, huh? Oh man, maybe I'm overworked. Okay, so that that's his other self from the other world. Do you know about Lizard Rock southwest of the village? I've heard that a mother Komodo dragon comes out every once in a while. I've told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. Sergi, don't be mean to my Celine. Okay, well get out of my way. Hello there, Surge. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the youngins these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right, no way. Uh, I guess so. I didn't know I was collecting them. Hee hee hee, well said, Surge. You truly are a man of the sea. They don't call me a Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Surge. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one. Rock and roll trap the sucker. Super duper secret 2, late use the lay of the land to make a surprise attack. There's always one that likes to play tag, run with all your might. Beware, Komodo dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. Whip past them with all your might. Actually, I said there's no point overtaking them. Anyway, anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up to one, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt, okay. But don't get your own butt kicked. Oh, okay, thanks. That's about all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go, Surge. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. Sorry about what? Okay. 
All right, well, I remember I did that. I did the whole Komodo, collecting Komodo dragon scales thing at the beginning of the game. look up where I find Radius because, like, why is he not here? Okay, wait, am I in? I'm in Homeworld, I think. Yeah, I'm in Homeworld. Okay. I mean, I that's weird. I can't even find any information on it. Maybe he's back at his hut in the Hermit's Hideaway. I don't even know where he- I've never seen him in this world, I don't think. I think Razley's here. Razley and Pip, I think, are here for some reason. No, Razli, Ayla, and... Or not Ayla, <laughs> it's Leah. I called her Ayla, but she looks just like Ayla. Leah, decide um stay for a while. Place is out of this world. Starkey like this place. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know where Radius is in this world. I don't think I've seen him in this world. Outside. They were just inside. Alright, so I'm gonna go over to the Viper Manor, see if anything is different there. Because when I say Marbule, they re started rebuilding Marbule. And then I went back later, and they actually did like were it had changed it like re, they were like re actually rebuilding a bunch of stuff and i was surprised because i didn't realize that they would have actually like changed it hmm well i did say i would open all the doors to all the children who lost their parents during this past struggle however this remodeling job is a little too okay so that's the same thing he says okay this place isn't any different Something's happening here. I didn't know I could go in here. I just went up to him and pressed A. A? Yeah, A. 
I don't know Xbox controls. What is this place? Where do I go? Okay. I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere or do anything. Um, oh, maybe I have to go to this place in the other world. Okay, so I learned a long time ago that if I get stuck in one world, then I probably have to go to the other world. The oh, same place in the other world. Can I go up here? No. And I can't go down there. Okay, so that means it's time to check the other world then. Divine Dragon Falls. But why is it in blue? Okay, so when so when the title of a place is in white, that means you can go there. When it's in purple, it means it's inaccessible. But I don't know what the bl what blue means. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. We're gonna stop at Arnie Village first because I wonder if I can talk to the chief in here. Did you hear? Sky Dragon Isle has floated up into the sky. What the hell is going on? What's gonna happen to us? Like I told you, they're all taking shelter at the village chiefs. I can't let outsiders through. Who knows how long we'll be in this situation? If I were you, I'd try to find a safe place to hide. Oh, okay. So, okay, well, I can't go to the chief there, but, um, okay, that was Sky Dragon Isle that turned into Terra Tower. I didn't even realize that Sky Dragon Isle was gone now. Oh, something is different here. Years ago, these falls were considered a holy place by the worshippers of the Divine Dragon Faith. Then hordes of humans began to migrate to these islands and we were pushed into the outlying regions. And the cultural takeover that ensued, the spiritual significance of us, such places such as this, spiritual significance of places such as this were, was soon forgotten. In the old days, many of my friends and fellow believers would come here to worship. It was quite lively, particularly during the festival seasons. How I miss those days. Okay, so, uh, okay, so I guess what happened in this world was like, these dragon isles and then some of these other like lands existed already but then fate and the like the research center built these other islands and sent people out to live in this world and then that's when like humans started invading and taking over there doesn't seem to be anything worthy of note inside here hey captain let's head home okay so definitely this is different than the other world. It appears that the altar at the back of this cave was made to house the dragon tier. 
But the strange thing is that there was only meant to be one dragon tier in this land, and yet the altar has two holding stands. I wonder what that could indicate. Okay, wait a minute. What do I have? I have... Okay, I had the dragon tier, but then it shattered. The... Oh. I had the... Okay. So I had the tier of hate. I had this for a really long time, although I don't even remember where I got it from. And then I got the tier of love when when the dragon tier shattered. Okay, so I... Well, I have two pieces of the dragon tier. Ancient lore reveals the Dragonites knew of certain land formations they called power spots. There, they are said to have used the natural energy of the planet to generate elements. Okay. So kind of like FF7, where they use the life energy of the planet to, like, they use Mako to create materia. If this is an altar of the divine dragon worshippers, then maybe Stina knows something about it. Does that mean I have to bring Stina? Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to. I'm going to run back out and then just put Stina in my party. It doesn't seem like there's anything I fight in here, so I won't have to equip her with anything. I will just bring her over and see what she says about the altar. I'm gonna try YouTube when I'm finally verified. I'll do a short stream, see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, well, let me know what you think. Why is Kid at like half HP? It's definitely good to diversify your all your platforms and, and just at least try them out, you know? That's something that I, I really try to like drive home in my videos not my streams but my videos of on small streamer diaries is that like just just you know do your research try out all the platforms see what you like the best because you don't want to hold yourself to one platform and then like not even try a different platform and you might like something else better I can use OBS for it as well I believe yeah I think so um, I mean I use Streamlabs and I like it's the same exact process to go live. I just um like log into my YouTube account instead on Streamlabs, but I think it works the same way with OBS. By the great dragon gods, the sacra what is that word? The sacrarium? I've never seen that word in my life. Of the divine dragon falls still exists and it seems functional. It's just as the legends of old said it would be. What a blessing. By utilizing its power, we just may, may be able to create the Chrono Cross here. Ah, uh, what? We have to create it? I don't know if I want to try Trovo. It's a bit different from the rest. Yeah, I so I was multi-streaming on Trovo too. Um, for the past few streams, though, I haven't streamed on Trovo because it there was some issue with Streamlabs streaming to Trovo at the same time. So um, for the past like three streams, I haven't been on Trovo. But I think Trovo is actually more similar to Twitch than it is than YouTube is to Twitch. Because if you look at Trovo, um, like the, the interface and the setup, it looks like Twitch. Like if you go into somebody's stream, it looks almost exactly like Twitch, just like with different colors. And then they have things called um, like Elixir and spells and like some other stuff that I don't fully understand. But um, there is this guy on YouTube, Neon Fox, and I watch his videos all the time on Trovo because he does a lot of, like, tutorials and stuff on Trovo because, like, Trovo, the website itself doesn't, like, provide a lot of information. Like, I really didn't understand what, like, spells and elixir and all this stuff was, but they're similar to, like, bits and, and you know, the stuff that they have on Twitch. Damn, it took me, like, two weeks to get from the links part to this. You are incredible in... How fast you have advanced in a week. Oh, I appreciate that, Ricardo. Thank you. I don't know if, uh, I mean, I don't know if I really have been, um, like, advancing quickly or if I'm just getting lucky. Try placing the two pieces of the dragon tier. The tier of hate and the tier of love on these stands. It appears to have been made to hold something. Right. 
She's a pro gamer, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that, Commander Shepard. Uh, that's okay, so... Uh, Commander Shepard, I don't even know what your YouTube name stands for, but SWGOH Real Talk is Commander Shepard on Twitch, so for whoever is in here, I call him Commander Shepard because I met him on Twitch and his name is Commander Shepard there. Um, so, Ricardo, from the links part, um, like, which links part? Like, from when you fight him as fate? Like, when you run into him to get kid back? Okay, I forgot that you have to, like, actually go into your... I keep forgetting every single time. It's it's these old games, you know? Like, they're, they're not made like the games today. I keep forgetting you actually have to go into your, um, like, item menu instead of just examining the thing. Tear of Love, there it is. What is happening? This is making me dizzy. What even is the Chrono Cross? Surge received the Chrono Cross. Okay, and that is what? It was an old game I used to play, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero Heroes. Huh, I've never heard of that. What system was that on? Chrono Cross. Oh, that's cool looking. The ultimate long lost element of the seventh color attribute. What? There's a seventh element? Wait a minute. I can't, like, equip this, can I? Oh, why do I have a revive? Oh, because uh, I took it off a riddle, of course. Oh. I can't equip it. What? Oh. <gasps> I definitely have to try that out. And then look look how pretty it is in the element. Like, in the element grid. Okay, um, I guess I'll just give Surge revive? If I don't have Riddle? Um, okay, so... wait. Did I mean to have this? Oh, negate magic. Okay, that's a good one. If I don't have riddle. I might put riddle back in my party, though, at some point, because I really liked her as a party member. Plus, she can equip, like, these really cool elements. Wait, why is everybody gone now? It's a mobile game. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just saying the same thing. Okay, so the Chrono Cross description didn't really- it didn't tell me what it does. The kid back. Uh, I guess I might as well check the forge. Wait a minute. Why is it an- like an item? So it's like an item, but also like a, an element I can equip? When Surge's mind gets trapped inside Lynx's body, when I got to this part creating the Chrono Cross, I have been like two weeks before since that. Oh, okay. Um, well, it's it Ricardo, you know, it has been a long time since um since I got Surge as Lynx. So it's been a while for me too. Okay, let's get um kid her Denodorite dagger. I actually, I felt like I was playing as Lynx for, like, forever. I I think at some point in my streams, I was like, I feel like I have been playing for Lynx for longer than I've been, um, Surge. Okay, I have a, I have a lot of those resources, so I could make the rocker ring.
Okay, so I have Chrono Cross, but I don't know what to do from here. How do I get into Terra Tower? Okay, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go like investigate under Terra Tower. Like maybe if I go up there and then go over to Terra Tower and then try to just try to like get up there. Maybe it'll tell me something else. No. Weirdly enough, the story started hooking me more since the entire Fate fight and Luca's house event. As that is where it starts connecting more with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I, I agree. Ricardo, um, I don't know if you were here last time I I streamed. I can't even remember what, what day that was, but like when I figured out all that, or found out all that stuff, I didn't like figure it out. The game just told me. But when I found out all that stuff about like fate and then like Luca's house and I was like, oh, what? What? Oh. That was like me the whole stream last time. Just me being like, oh, oh what? Oh, and then when I went to um, Luca with Kid, or Lucia with Kid, and she got that letter from Luca, and I was like, oh, what? Um, okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I do want to try out um, the Chrono Cross and Mel, though. So maybe I will go back to the marshes. Because that is... That's the only flying thing I've had so far. Is the wingipede is calling the wingipede. Wait, why do I have an explosive? Oh yeah, that was for um the Earth Dragon Isle. Uh why didn't that not work? Oh there we go. I had to be further down the branch. takes me to Gaia's navel. I hope you stole all the armors off of six dragon bosses. I won't actually fight any of the Tower of Terror bosses without all six stolen. No, so I, uh, beg Hester, um, I think we've talked about this, but I have not gotten all the plates. So I only have three of them, but I've just been going into this game blind. I mean, you know, when you, when you play a game without like any guidance or a walk or anything, you know, you're gonna make some mistakes. It's 
So I have the, I have the green, or let me check. I think I have the green, yellow, and white plate. Yeah, I have the green, yellow, and white plate. Okay, I'm gonna go try Mellow. Okay, well, she just. Okay. I didn't. I wasn't able to see any of her text because she just killed him immediately, but that's fine. look it up because I really don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Um, oh, but, okay. It looks like I can uh, get some other people's texts right now. I watched the recorded stream as I want to see your reaction to Luca's house. Sadly, I missed the live stream. Oh, that's okay, Ricardo. But that's why I like YouTube, you know, is because, like, you're... Your streams will stay on YouTube forever, so if, you know, if anybody wants to ever watch them. Some pretty good reactions though, right, Ricardo? I- but I get- I did get stuck in Luca's house. I got really stuck here, if you- if you saw that. I could not find the ice gun for the life of me. Okay, now that I'm looking at a walkthrough, I guess I might as well just follow some of these things. Um, so, homeworld, I can go to... Where's my boat? I can go to the Water Dragon Isle. And get Razley's tech. I'm just gonna skip Lucia getting Lucia's tech because I don't- never use her. So I guess I have to have Razley in the party. Okay, so I have to go to... Fairyville, I think is that- that's what it was called. Take care of Razley. Do be careful. Okay. Check the tree. Isn't this the tree? Travel to Water Dragon Isle home and 
Proceed to the second screen, then check the tree that is Rosetta's final resting place. What? So isn't this it? But I'm in home world. Is this guide wrong? Okay, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's wrong. Maybe I have to go to home world. And oh girl, does this game have more surprises coming? Oh boy. Yeah, it took you a while, but I still liked your reaction to the sad kids scene. Oh my god, I felt so bad. I was so sad for kid. Uh, yeah, the the orphanage uh, strong. I struggled with it a little bit, but you know what? You know what though? It's confusing because they were like, the game's like, oh, the ice gun is in the bedroom, Luca's bedroom, and then Luca's bedroom looks nothing like a bedroom. There's not even a bed. That's why I was like, oh, it can't be here because this is not the bedroom, because she has some sort of giant like machine in there or something. And then I thought Laura's bedroom was her bedroom because that's the only room that looked like a bed or bedroom. So really it's the game's fault. It's not my fault. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna run down to other world, another world, and check if I get Razley's tech there. And if not, um I don't I probably just won't get it. I mean I don't use Razzly that much. Rosetta is alive in this world too? I'm so confused. Why is it telling me why is it telling me to go to Rosetta's grave when she's when she's alive in both worlds? Okay, so if I look at the screenshots in this walkthrough, it's from- it is from Homeworld. But the tree doesn't look like that. So I wonder if there's, like, a scenario where Rosetta does die, because the tree is still bare in the other world. But the tree in the screenshot looks like it's grown. It has like leaves on it and stuff. Okay, I know I said if the tech wasn't there, then I would just give up, but I'm gonna check one more time in Homeworld because now I'm a little confused. Check the tree that is Rosetta's final resting place. But she's not dead.
Okay, so it's definitely this world. Because there's water here. Okay, so I don't think I don't think I can get Razzly's tech because the tree in the screenshot is grown. It's got like leaves on it and stuff, but this one is bare and rat and Rosetta's right here. Okay, well, um, whatever. That's fine. I just won't get it. This game is cool, but it can be a confusing mess due to the huge cast number and two home worlds. Yes, I definitely agree. I have been finding that too, Ricardo. I don't like this game as much as I like Chrono Trigger. I think Chrono Trigger just is the better game. I think it just worked better. And it's it gets really hard for me to remember, like all the things that happen between worlds like sometimes I can't remember or a lot of the time I can't remember like oh did, the, did this happen in this world or did it happen in home world and then there's some characters that you can't even get in one playthrough and I I mean I went in this into this game blind like I didn't know you had some characters you couldn't even recruit. I didn't know, like, some of them, if you, like, refuse them, they wouldn't join. Or some of them, like, can die or whatever. I didn't know you could recruit Lena. So, like, I missed a whole bunch of stuff, but, I mean, that's, you know... It happens when you... You want to play a... I think... You know, you want to play a game for the first time, you want to go in blind because you just want to, you want the full experience. Like you, you don't want to walk, walk through your way through a game for the first time. You want to find things out for yourself. You don't want to spoil anything. Okay, but I do have to look some things up, um, like how to get to the Terra Tower. Oh, I have to go find Starkey's ship. Okay, well, this is telling me some things that I would have learned going in blind. Um... Okay, so this walker is telling me I should have all red elements except healing spells. Because apparently what I'm about to fight is immune to everything but red elements. But I don't, I mean, I don't know if I have enough red elements to completely fill everybody out. Uh, I mean, I guess I do, because I have 19 magma bombs. I wonder if it's immune to Chrono Trigger. So, I mean, but this is kind of why I don't like to use a 
a walkthrough like the entire time. I mean, obviously I have to I look at a walkthrough sometimes because I really didn't know what to do here. But I don't like to like spoil things. You know, I don't like to like... I like to find things out for myself. Although, since I did look up um, a walkthrough just now, it did tell me that I should have all red elements. Quality oriented and crosses quantity oriented. Gonna be honest, midway through the dragon search, I started using a guide, something that is usually a big no no for me due to spoilers. Yeah, I agree. I usually, uh, like I just said, I don't usually like using a guide either, at least for my first time, because yeah, I don't want any spoilers. And but I also just like to find things out for myself. But I definitely completely 100% understand using a guide during this game because it is super confusing like you said like I I mean you, you saw in my stream right like I guess I was getting so confused all the time and then like it's it's really it's just really unclear in this game what you're supposed to do because like, all the game told me to get to Terra Tower, they were like, well, you just, you have to find a way to fly up there, but then there were no other clues. And so that's why I just looked it up, because I, like, I had no idea what to do. And then there were some other, th like, things I, ha I had to look up, because I, did I just didn't know what to do. Like, the game gave you no information. But I did not, I did not use a guide and for um most of the dragons so i missed the plates i missed all the plates or no i didn't miss all of them i missed three of the plates but i mean you know it's just like it's something i have to deal with if i go into terra tower and i have a harder time fighting everyone in there because i missed the plates like it's just something i gotta deal with Okay, I want to see Chrono Cross. Hey, Rebecca, what's up? Hey, Melbuster. Not much. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. How is Ghost going? Okay, I accidentally had Surge defend. But I want to see Chrono Cross. Oh, wait, why is it targeting us too? Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Why are those little, why are those little element balls at the top? Those, those were not there before. And what did Chrono Cross even do? Kid was doing grocery shopping earlier today. It's going great. Just unlocking stuff to boost gin, but taking my time with it. Nice. To be fair, you aren't using them all the time, but at least we can look things up. I feel bad for the people who played this in 1999 without any walkthrough available. Yeah. And, I mean, they... Well, they did have walkthroughs available. You just had to, like, buy them. You can just, like, instantaneously look stuff up. But, you know, in, in 1999, I'm not sure if they had this at this point, but there was um, GameFacts.com. And you didn't have any pictures or anything, but you, you, had, you did have like a text walkthrough. So this game may have been on there by then. 
But yeah, I mean, so, like, some stuff in- and it's not just Chrono Cross, but like, some stuff in some games, I'm like, how does anyone figure this out without a walkthrough? Rebecca, hey no P, thank you so much for coming in. How are you? I remember Game Facts, yeah, text guides. Yes, I loved Game Facts. I think it's still around, it's just that people don't use them as much because now you've got all the nice websites that provide screenshots and pictures for you, and it's a lot easier to follow. Or even just like a YouTube tutorial, a video video tutorial. That's even easier to follow. Um, okay, so what was I supposed to do here? Back to my trusty walkthrough. Ah, oh, I think I'm in the wrong world. I think I'm in home world. Okay, so for those of you that have played this game, am I going to be able to get through the Terra Tower without having all the plates, the armor plates from the dragons? Two thieves join forces to do a double steal. Wait, what? Okay, does that only happen when Kid is in the party? <gasps> oh! That's the first time I've seen like a like a team up tech because they had those in Chrono Trigger, but I was just complaining about that. Well, not complaining, I guess, but I was just saying that like I thought it was cool in Chrono Trigger that they had um, like team attacks because you could like combine techs with another party member, and I was like, oh, they don't have that in this game, but I guess they do. It's just not a lot of them. But I think every, I think every party member had some sort of combination with every other par party member in Chrono Trigger. I don't really remember. Um, it's been a really long time since I played Chrono Trigger. I actually might play it again after this because I got it on Steam. I don't remember what happens if you don't have the plate. Sorry, <laughs> that's okay, OP. But you know what? If if you don't remember. What happens if you don't have the plates, then the plates must have not been that important. You know what I mean? Because then, like, if they were that important, you'd remember, like, yeah, you definitely need all the plates. Okay, I am in the wrong world. Ugh. So I have to I have to go in El Nido Triangle. Okay. Have you decided what game you are playing after CC? I'm still not sure yet. I have some friends that want to play Borderlands 3. So probably that, but like, I mean, that'll be multiplayer, so I won't be playing that all the time. I'll only be playing that when my friends are available. So after that, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do solo. I'm thinking maybe Chrono Trigger.
Or maybe the Witcher 1 or 2. Because I have those and I haven't played those. Or maybe FF7 Remake or FF15. Because I know you wanted to see those, right? Was that you that wanted to see those? I discovered a mysterious object down below, but there's a nasty monster guarding it. No matter how many times I hack away at it, it doesn't seem to have any effect. I've tried some elements too. There are some that work and some that don't. Okay. So now we can go in here because before we couldn't go down here. Now we can. And since I had my handy dandy walkthrough, I know that uh, it's only, only red elements work against it. Rainbow shell, nice. Okay, I still have not um, like been able to forge anything with a rainbow shell, so I don't know what I mean. I probably should have saved, but I did see the autosave thing come up, so I know that I've I've got an autosave at least. I'm just gonna run past those. Uh, do I have any treasure chests over here? Oh, there is one up there. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, I can. I guess I'll fight these things. Go grab that treasure chest. Yeah, I mentioned FF15. That would be great. That is a good game. I mean, I'd play. I would play it again. I have played it, but I didn't stream it. Um, but I would play it again. I actually just watched um, the FF15 movie today. Did you know there was a movie? FF15 movie. It's called King's Glaive, and it's um. I mean, I guess you don't really have to play the game to understand the movie. But it would help. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like this, you know, like, do you have to play Chrono Trigger to play this game? No, but I think you would get more out of it if you played Chrono Trigger. Like, so I think you'd get more out of the movie if you played the game. No, I did not know was it good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, um, Aaron Paul, who was, if you like Breaking Bad, um, Aaron Paul played Jesse in Breaking Bad, and he does the voice of the main character. And then, um... Lena Hetty, who is Cersei in Game of Thrones, she does the voice for one of the main characters named Luna. Wow, that's adorable. So would you rather see the FF7 remake or FF15? Okay, this tech I haven't seen yet. Oh. Good. That's a good tech. Kid has not been very powerful, but that was pretty good. Ooh, I got a cure all. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, I am heading back down here because I just got the treasure chest. Didn't I? Have you played the FS7 remake? Yes, I have. I didn't stream it, but I played it. But I did stream the um, Yuffie DLC because I didn't get a PS5 until this past December. Okay, so I know it... It's immune to physical attacks, but I have to get my element levels up. Uh, so might as well do one more. What did you think about the new story direction? I loved it. I thought it was awesome that they did that because I think, you know, 
A lot of people seem kind of upset that they like went in a totally different direction, but I really liked it because I personally just like, I, I mean, I love FF7, the original game, and I personally don't want to just play like a, a scene by scene remake of the original. Like I, I wanted, you know, a, a, something new. I wanted a new game. But they, then that's exactly what they provided. Like they, they gave us a new game with enough callbacks and references to the original to make, you know, original fans happy. Because I loved all the stuff that they did, like how they made, you know, like Sector 7 really similar to the original game. And then they had all these, like, references and um, Easter eggs to the original game. And I think it's, it's super interesting that they, they made some sort of, like, connection I had, but I had to look it up because I didn't fully understand what was going on. So I did have to look it up, but the theory is, I guess, that um, Aerith either like knows what happened from the original game and this is a different timeline, or it is the same Aerith somehow, which I thought it was a very interesting take and I'm very curious to see what happens there. And then, um, Z with, like, Zack being alive, that just, like, blew my mind. I would watch both streams. I have not played the FF7 remake, so it would also be great if you streamed it too. Okay. Gotcha. FF15, I played, like, one or two hours. Okay. So, I would say that, like, FF... 15, to be honest, like, it doesn't have the greatest storyline. It's, it's like, very confusing and convoluted. But the characters are amazing. Like, I love the characters so much. So you got four main characters. Um, that's the four guys you see in all, all the, like, pictures and stuff. Oh, you played one or two hours, so you know the four guys in it. Um, but they are, all, like, I love all of them so much. And I love, like, all their interactions together. I just think they're great characters. And it's, it's just, like, a beautiful game, too. Like, the graphics are insane. Like, I would say the story makes, like, a little bit of sense, but not, like, a ton. Like, it's not, like, 100%. Um. I don't know, like, 60 or 70, 70% makes sense. Because I have, I still have a lot of questions at the end of the game. But it's still really fun. And you get to drive around this car that's really cool. And you get to customize it. And I love the whole style, because I love that they put in, like, cars. And it's very, like, it's, like, steampunk, but also fantasy. It won't open. Oh, I probably need Starkey for this, huh? It's a Starkey ship. We have to bring Starkey here. That is a... that's a good point, kid. Okay, so, since I beat that thing, I'm going to redo my elements. I find the new direction of the FF7 remake unique and super meta, but now that the story is going to divert from the base and core material, I just hope it stays consistent. Yeah, me too. But there's, there's a lot of people theorizing that it's like a different timeline, which would make sense. I mean, I, de I definitely find it super interesting. And I'm really, I am really, really curious to see what they'll do with it. Wait, no, I wanted upheaval there.
Okay, those are fine. Uh, where is... Where's Deluge? What I want to put in here. Oh, there it is. Got another oh, I can put his summon back in now. Did you play FF12 or FF13? Yes, I did. Those are I enjoyed those, but I wouldn't put them at like the the very top of my my like favorite F FFs. But I like them a lot. And for like everybody hated 13. But I really liked it. It just, you know, it wasn't top tier for me, but I really liked it. Yeah, like the timeline loops and the phantoms you encountered seek to leave everything as intended, like a normal remake. I feel Sephiroth saw the F end of FF7 and decided to break the timeline. Yeah, when I, I, because I had so many questions after the end of that game, um, I didn't like fully understand what was going on, so I looked up a lot of stuff about it and. A lot of people were theorizing that, like, Aerith and Sephiroth know, like, what happened in the original FF7. And so Sephiroth went into a different timeline to try and, you know, accomplish his goal that he was prevented from doing in the original game. And then Aerith also knows about it, and she's also trying to, you know, save... She's still trying to save the world from Sephiroth. And then, yeah, I didn't understand the whole phantom thing until I looked it up, but it's like, yeah, they were trying to... They, the game said something about them trying to m make sure everything happened like it was supposed to, or something like that. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't, uh... I didn't change theirs. Okay, but... I think I might remove them anyway. Okay, I don't know. Um, well, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove one of them anyway for Starkey. So I will just, I'll just get Kid out of here because Mel is a fairly new party member and I'm gonna keep her in for a little bit longer. Okay, so we might run into some fights here, so I'm gonna equip Starkey and then give him elements just so we can get through this part. Starkey, whatever. Wait a minute. Why does he have a revive? I thought I gave Surge all the revives. Oh, he's only got two, I guess. Okay, I mean, that's fair. That's fine. Okay, what did they give you, Starkey? Wow, they gave him, they gave him a lot of white elements. I guess that makes sense since he's a white element. Okay, um, I mean, that's fine. I'm not gonna use him that much, I just need him to get the ship. Okay, I wonder, now that I beat that thing, I wonder if these guys will say something different. Nope. I like how he says, I mean, I guess the game didn't want to give in too much away, but I like how he says, 
oh, there are some elements that work and some that don't, but he doesn't tell you what. <laughs> Now I just happened to be using a walkthrough because I didn't know how to get up to the Terra Tower and it just told me like, oh, you have to use all red elements against the jellyfish thing. So you can't, you can't even go down here until this part, like the game doesn't even allow it. Wow, Starkey's ship in this world is not broken. Starkey, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey's ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey's ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground, but still working. Yeah, it opened. Yeah, everything is in order. The navigational system is operational. Navigation system is operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy too. Aw, can this take us to Terra Tower? This ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Leave it to me. Uh, okay. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that... Hmm... Maybe we can use this? Starkey may, may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. Okay, but what is that thing? What's this? Yeah, I have the same question. It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. Oh. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's where the save point was. All right, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. So we have to go back there? <sighs> oh, <laughs> the game just brought me back there, okay. <laughs> I complained a little too soon. Let's see. Starkey mean this and that. Oh, yeah. This should do the trick. Oi, all you have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? I mean, no, because then why would we have to go all the way to Chronopolis to the dock and have Starkey install it, if that's all we had to do? We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. Yeah. That's what I said, sort of. You're like, OMG, I have to go back all the way. I know. I was like, what? I have to go all the way back to Chronopolis and then get to the dock? This is so stupid. <laughs> but luckily, the game shut me up. I don't get it, but just hurry it up, okay? Time to get back to work. Time to get to work. Or back to work. I mean, he was already working. Phew, Starkey, I'm done. What do you mean, done? All you did was load it onto the boat. <laughs> Negative. Oh my god, why is he on his head? <laughs> Not much further now. Bet you never expected we'd end up doing anything like this, did you, Surge? No, I didn't. You know, you know what I was saying um, my last stream, too, is that... There's a lot of, like, sci-fi elements in this game, which is very unexpected. Kind of sad nobody asked Starkey for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Smash Brothers Ultimate? I don't get it. I mean, I love Smash Brothers, but I don't get it. Bet you never... Oh, I just read that. Why were we born? Why do we live? That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. Let's go. Yes. Let's test the boat out. Let's do it. I mean, the ship... The sh I don't know why the ship wouldn't have been able to fit everybody, because 
we all fit inside it. Like, we all walked in there, so why can't we just fly it? I think he looks like Pikmin. Oh, okay. He, yeah, he does. I, so I never played the Pikmin games, but I do remember them in Smash Brothers. Oh, so we're just gonna go straight to Terra Tower, okay. I didn't realize that's what we were doing. I thought we were just gonna like go back to the world map. Is this like a, a point of no return in the game? I better uh, pick my save slot wisely. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Ben. I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. How was your weekend? Okay. Leave Terra Tower. No. Okay, so I can leave. Okay, I don't think I want to take Starkey though. Um. Like, imagine everybody waiting for Crash Bandicoot or Shantae to be a new character, and boom, Starkey sails the sea. New and best Smash Fighter. You know what? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because they pick out some really obscure characters to add to Smash. But you- oh, you know what though? Like, Chrono or Surge would be a really good addition to Smash. I mean, they added Cloud. Just a little tired, done some cleaning of my apartment and everything today. Oh, nice. Good to keep up with the cleaning. Um... Who do I want to take? Kid, I guess? I don't know. I, li I really like Riddle. I think I'll take Kid and Riddle. Which means I have to unequip. Unequip Mel. And Starkey. honest, I always hope for them to add Chrono, like Chrono Trigger was made by a team of people who worked in Final Fantasy and Dragon Dragon Quest. Yeah, I I agree. I think um I think Chrono would be an awesome addition to Smash Brothers. I think he would like he would uh, he would fit right in. Oh no wait, I don't want her to have the dreamer's bandana. I think I'm gonna give that to Riddle. Well, maybe they'll they'll add him in the next one. Maybe there will be another Chrono game that will come out. I would love that. I have noticed that lately there's this huge trend of like um, remaking old games or doing like a it's like a remake or a remaster or just like a an adaptation or something. And it's not just games either. It's a lot of movies and um, and shows too, like old movies and shows. There's this like whole big nostalgia thing going on. Or they're doing like sequels like Top Gun. 
The Top Gun sequel is coming out soon. And then, like, um, Walker and Roswell. There's, like, all these old show shows that are being remade. So maybe they'll bring Chrono back in another game. I think I'll give Riddle... I'll give Riddle the, uh... Revive. She would... She would heal a lot more than Kid would. Supposedly... Supposedly there won't be another Smash Brothers, at least not another made by the director. Really? Well, that makes me sad. I love Smash Brothers. I feel like they've gotta, like, continue it at some point. Point, though like that's a very successful series yeah like five years ago nobody was really hoping for a Chrono Cross remaster yeah. Yeah, it's just like lately it's like um, people, I don't know, they just like miss all the stuff they grew up with or something. And so everything's being like remade or at, like a new adaptation or something. Oh, don't mention reboots. Yeah, reboots. That That's the word I was trying to think of, but I couldn't remember. Reboot. I was trying to say, like, remake. When I said adaptation, that it, that's what I was thinking of, was reboot. But I couldn't remember the name. It also mentioned Knight Rider reboot from 2008, which is a complete abomination from the original series that was on NBC from 1982 to 1986. A pure disaster, the new one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess they won't all be good. <laughs> but, I mean, they are making, like, a whole bunch of reboots and remakes and all that stuff. So, um... Like, Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris, that was rebooted. Or remade. Or I, I, th I think you'd say it's a remake. A remake with Jared Padalecki from Supernatural. And then, like, Roswell was this old show, like, this old teenager sh show from, I think, like, the 90s or early 2000s. And that got remade or rebooted. And there's just like, uh, I mean, those are just examples, but like there's a whole bunch of other like things that old shows and old movies that are re either being remade or rebooted or there's sequels to them. Or, oh, Jurassic Park. All the Jurassic World movies now. Oh, did I give her a revive? No, I haven't given her a revive yet. We can put it in three, that's fine. And then she could... Riddle's gonna be my main healer. And put some more cures in here. Okay, I think from here I'll let the game do it. 
I do feel maybe they're heading for a Chrono Trigger full remake or a Chrono 3. I mean, last year we got Metroid 5 D Dread after a long waiting time. Metro Metroid 4 Fusion came out in like 2002. Yeah, exactly. Like they now like everybody wants like these old games back. The reboot of Knight Rider in 2008 was a complete abomination of the original. Okay, I believe you. I mean, I never watched either one, so. Oh, wait a minute. Where is... There's Negate Physical somewhere here. Negate Physical, yeah. Level 6. Oh. Can only uh, equip it if it's the person's element is yellow, which Riddle is not. Okay, but there is a Negate Physical element. I don't know where that one is. Uh, Surge might have it. I only hope they, like, mix the OG members with a new team of talented people who grew up with Trigger and Cross. Kind of what they did with Sonic Mania. Yeah. I completely agree. Negate magic. He's got negate magic. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give this to you, Riddle. Uh, okay, he'll just have a recover all there, I guess. Val Kilmer, as kid, he liked the charisma and personality behind that role of William Daniels did with the original kid. Ghostbusters, It, Batman, Spider-Man, just to mention a few reboots, remakes. Yes, exactly. All of those, definitely. I meant to say Val Kilmer lacked the charisma and personality. I heard there was a Rugrats reboot. What? I haven't heard that. Rugrats? I love Rugrats. But yeah, I mean, like, you... Like, they're bringing back all this, like, old- these old shows and movies. It's just, like, a big trend. Okay, I guess this is fine. Oh, and then, like, iCarly. There's an iCarly, um, like, sequel that just came out. And there was supposed to be a Hillary- or not Hillary Duff. Well, she was supposed to be in it, but Lizzie McGuire. There's supposed to be a Lizzie McGuire, um, not like reboot, but like continuation of this or revival. That's what it's called. There's supposed to be a Lizzie McGuire revival, but it just it fell through. But they did the iCarly one. They did have um, a Rugrats like all grown up series. I remember that one. Wonder what they're doing with the Rugrats reboot. Whoa, what is that? The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? I mean, no, not really. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, of course, it's a boss fight. Okay, so I have said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I think this game relies entirely too much on boss fights. Like, there are too many boss fights. Terridor. Also, lately, they are bringing old games that were never localized except Mother 3, but like Trials of Mana or soon to be released a live remake that used the 2D HD graphics. Yeah, and then like, um, you know, with Chrono Cross, how they released it with the Radical Dreamers um, game, like, I, like, I, that, I think that was only in Japan because I had never heard of it. And then I looked it up and um, I think I read somewhere that it had only been released in Japan. William Daniels was the voice of Kid on Knight Rider. He was also Mr. Feeny on Boy Meets World with Ben Savage. Oh my god, I love Boy Meets World. Okay, I, I mean, I never knew his real name.
Okay, so I've heard of Knight Rider, but I've never watched it. Oh boy. All right, Riddle, uh, I'm gonna do some healing here. I wonder if they're gonna do a Boy Meets World re reboot now or remake or what? Oh, they did have Girl Meets World. I never watched it, but I know they had Girl Meets World, which is, um, um, like, Cor or that was his name, right? Corey? It was his daughter. If you haven't had the chance to watch Knight Rider, I may suggest you to do so. The original series, 1982 to 1986. Okay. Do you know if it's on any streaming services? I've got Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Amazon. There's some free, um, free streaming apps on my TV, too. Should have had her cast um, Bad Eye or something. Okay, well, it, he's kneeling over, so he's almost done. They were making a Wonder Years remake. Oh, really? I didn't know that. It's available on HBO Max and also Netflix. Okay. Radical Dreamers was only released via the satellite to Teleview add-on, which let you download games via satellite frequencies. Okay. Getting one in Japan was super expensive, almost a thousand dollars just to get connected. Wow, okay. Guess you had to really want Radical Dreamers. Okay, okay. Got him. Oh, and there's like a, there's like a high school musical new, a new high school musical series now. Ooh, yellow field. Okay, I don't think I have yeah, I don't have any yellow element people. Well, that would be good. When I if I like do have a yellow yellow element person. Um so I think Viper is is a yellow element. Where is the yellow field? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll go back and save. So even a lot of people in Japan didn't play it. Also, the PlayStation was already out, so yeah, it kind of flopped. Sadly, a lot of cool games were exclusive to it. Oh, okay, so that makes- that reminds me, though. Um, so actually, I was thinking I would play Radical Dreamers after this. What was my last save? I think this one. One with Kid and Riddle, yeah. I'm just gonna save over this one. High School Musical, the musical, the series, yes. Literally, that's what it was called. But yeah, that's it. They're currently working on a reboot of Night Court, which was a sitcom on NBC 
from 1984 to 1992 with Harry Anderson. Okay, so I, I okay, Night Court, I do know. Um, I actually didn't like Night Court that much. I really like, so I love Cheers, love Cheers. Like I'm, I'm upset that I hadn't watched Cheers before because it's so good. And I'm watching Frasier right now, which is, I don't like it as much as Cheers. And then I'm thinking I will watch Wings. And I don't, I mean, I think I only watched one episode of Night Court, but I didn't really like it. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way first. So I enjoyed Wings, um, but I didn't like it as much as Cheers. But that that's interesting they're working on a reboot of that. I didn't know that. They have the Wings 24-7 channel on Pluto TV. Really? <laughs> a Wings 24-7 channel? Wow. Somebody must have really loved Wings in order to develop that. All right, before we move on, I'm going to take a little break and I'll be right back. All right, let's get back into Terra Tower. Rebecca, it would be awesome for you to play Direct Radical Dreamers. Never played it before either, or seen gameplay from it, though. Hope it's good. Okay. Well, Ricardo, anything to keep you coming back to my channel, right? So I, I'm, I'm also really curious about it because I didn't even know it existed until I got this game. 
And then I was like, Radical Dreamers, what is that? I thought it was some sort of setting for the game. So as far as I know, it's some sort of like text-based adventure. just realized I haven't spent a lot of money in this game. What am I at? I'm at 113,560 G. I think you just like find things a lot. I haven't bought much. Oh boy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right. Uh, this place is going to be a maze, isn't it? I did see a treasure chest up here. Nostrum, okay. I can, yeah, I, I, I guess I could always use more of those. I, don't, I haven't used those, but I guess uh, they're always good to have. Terra Terror is what this enemy is called. I could barely even say it. Terror Terror. Terra Terror. I still can't say it. Say that three times fast. Terra Terror. Terra Terror. Terra Terror. I mean, they just end up sounding the same. Plasma Beam. I haven't seen that move before. Or at that element. I mean, they're not doing very much damage. something that uh, targets all of them. Do you have anything that targets all of them? Riddle? Oh yes you do. Infernal. I guess that one's a red element now. Okay, so so for those of you that are here, let me ask you this. Because it's been it's very interesting that you know you guys are asking me like, oh, where are you gonna play next? Um, but I mean I guess you know I'd have to play something else next because I can't play this game forever, like Minecraft or something. Um but like, do you do you guys like watching variety streamers? Because the, generally the advice on like YouTube or even Twitch is that um, you should only play, you should only stick to one game to build your audience off of, and then you can start playing other games or like one series or one type of game. And I mean, I've just never like, I just never wanted to do that because I love so many different types of games. But I've always been told that if you do a variety, your your growth will be a lot slower. 
than if you just did like one game. Like if I just had like just a Minecraft channel or like Borderlands or whatever, just like one thing, then because I've always been told like your audience is going to get confused if you like play a variety of games, your audience is going to get confused and like you're going to you're going to give them content they didn't sign up for. Like if you guys came in for Chrono Cross and then I started playing like Borderlands and then like you wouldn't come back because you came here for Chrono Cross, you know? I mean, Radical Dreamers must be somewhat short because of how, of how it got distributed in the 90s. Anyway, the Satella view is awesome. If you haven't, check out the title screen and HUD that it used. Okay. Variety streamers are not that bad. I mean, I didn't think so either, because like, I find that most people who come in will... I mean, they're usually interested in a variety of games too, you know? And they usually ask me like, oh, so what other kinds of games do you play? But all this advice I see about growing your channel is like, oh, you should, uh, you know, you should just stick to one thing until you gain a big following and then you can start branching out, but only branch out very slowly into other games and other things, because then you've, you'll already have an audience. I think you could get more people playing different games. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to me too, because it's like, if I'm playing... If I'm playing other games, and then other people will come in to see that game... That wouldn't have discovered me otherwise. And then it's just, I mean, like I was saying, like, I just find that most people like a variety of games. Oh my god. What is happening in this tower? Surge. Surge. You finally made it this far, Surge. What was that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here and I have been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. Ooh, it's a reptite tower. Maybe you could give it a try. Playing games like Valorant and Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Call of Duty, CSGO. Maybe you just like have a little schedule like Monday, Friday, playing a long game that you're beating and weekends play other games. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to have a schedule because like I have different things going on every week. But what I generally do is like when I start playing a game, I generally stick with that game until I finish it. Unless like my friends want to play something like, you know, with Borderlands, my friends want to play Borderlands tonight, but um, my... My Borderlands wasn't going to be done installing in time because, like, Epic was just taking forever with it. Um, so I stuck with Chrono Cross, but generally I will only play one game until that's done, and then I will move on to the next game. We also like your style, so it's the game and the streamer, too. I appreciate that, OP. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, like, how I feel, too, is that, like, if somebody comes in to watch me, like, play Chrono Cross... But then they like me, like they, I talk to them and they like me, they'll come back to see me play other games and then also like, you know, typically people are interested in like lots of different games, so they want to see different games, but I don't know. I mean, I'm still new to content creation. I've only been streaming for, it's just, it's been just under a year. My first stream was June 1st of last year. Have you played games like Elden Ring? Um, yes. Because Elden Ring is just like a single player, like kind of like action, action adventure RPG kind of game, right? Like I, I don't know that much about it, but I do play games like, um, like action adventure single player games. I play a lot of those. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed to three times its original size in the span of three million years. 
I feel like people stop watching when they don't know, like when you're uploading new streams of a specific game. At the end of the game, it all comes down to persistence and luck. I really don't like watching streams or gameplay a lot, but I've gotten hooked to the cross playthrough. Oh, I appreciate that, Ricardo. Yeah, I mean, I've always been told like that I I should have a schedule too, but like it's it's kind of impossible for me to have a schedule right now because I just have different things going on from week to week. But you know what I found? Like, so when I was on Twitch, I had a schedule and I, ha I had a very consistent schedule that I stuck with all the time. I was always on at the same day at the same time and I stuck with it. But even then, like I still couldn't get people to come into my stream because even even when I had like a very consistent schedule, I still had people saying and people knew when I was going to be on. And people would still be like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, like, if I'm on my computer or if I'm free, then I'll, like, pop in for your stream. But it was just, like, whenever they were available, like, it didn't really matter if, like, I had a consistent schedule because their schedules weren't consistent. So they, like, they couldn't come in, like, my viewers couldn't come in anyway at the same, on the same days every week at the same time. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos's flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos's offspring. We humans are ex... I don't know how to pronounce that. Extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Surge? Uh, I don't know. So Ricardo, if you don't like watching streams or gameplay, but do you watch like videos on YouTube? Like do you watch like Let's Play videos? I was like watching other content and YouTube recommended me your live stream back on Tuesday. I saw you were playing Cross and Enter just to see what part you were playing. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, thank you for taking that chance to come in and see me. I really appreciate that. Okay, so how do I get out of here? On kid. She just missed like five times in a row. Literally entered with the intent of not staying more than five minutes and well, now it's Sunday and here we are. <laughs> Longest five minutes ever, I guess. <laughs> that is a pretty long five minutes, Ricardo, but you know what? I really, really appreciate you coming in for your five minutes. I do appreciate it. I'm glad that you enjoyed your time here.
Ew, I don't want to do an, a yellow element on that guy. So, um, Ricardo, if you don't mind me asking, so what did make you stay in my stream? Okay, I th I'm enjoying this party of Riddle and Kid. I think they're working well together. I'm sure Serge is happy with two cute girls with him. Okay, I don't know which door I was supposed to go through, but I guess we're just going to go through this one and hope for the best. That's also what I do in life. I'm so lost. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. It's not like this game gives me a map either. I mostly watch game or movies reviews. Channels like Sphere Hunter, Scott the Walls, Pro Jared, Jeremy Johns, Amanda the Jedi, Nitro Rad. Okay. I don't know any of those channels. But yeah, I, I typically on YouTube, I, I like to watch um, game reviews too. I never watch movie reviews on YouTube. But I... I like to watch some people play certain games. Like if I'm interested in a certain game, I'll I'll look up the gameplay of some like somebody playing it. Like Markiplier, I like watching his videos a lot. I watched all of Mike Markiplier's Five Nights at Freddy's walkers or playthroughs because at the time I didn't have a um, a PC like a gaming PC. And Five Nights at Freddy's was, I, it might still be, I think. I think it's still only on PC. And so I, I couldn't play it myself, but I was really interested in like the gameplay and the story. So I just watched all of my Markiplier's videos on it. Plus he was, he's really funny. I mean, so far these guys have not been doing a whole lot of damage to me. Oh, is Riddle burned? Okay, have to fix that. Okay, easy peasy. Oh, I'm getting a lot of nostrums. I guess that's what the item is called. I'm getting a lot of nostrums. Oh. Riddle's not burned. Okay, I guess it was the enemies that were burned? Well, a number of reasons. First, I played this game six years ago, so it was a big nostalgia trip. Secondly, I really enjoyed how you've been playing this game, and I appreciate your comments and reactions. Well, I really appreciate that, Ricardo. Thank you so much for telling me 
I really appreciate you answering. I, and you know, I asked because like, I'm just, I'm so new at content creation and streaming and I just want to know, you know, what it is that will keep people coming back. Cause it's like, you know, as a new, when you're a new content creator, you're just like so unsure of everything, you know? And, and then like, it just seems like there's other people that started later than you and it seems like they're more successful and like, I know you shouldn't try to compare yourself with anything really, because comparison is a thief of joy, but it's hard not to. So I do appreciate your answer, Ricardo. Have you ever rage quit a game? Yes, plenty of times. I mean, not on stream so far. There's probably been lots of them that I've rage quit in the past, um, but mostly I think when I was younger. You know, now now I would, I'm more uh, more like okay, I'm just I just have to keep going with the game, never give up, never surrender. To quote the great Galaxy Quest, but definitely when I was like younger and more immature, I would just like rage quit a lot. Okay, what they're like confused or something. I don't know what they cast on me. It actually did like a lot of damage. Wow, that was a lot of damage for Riddle. I am impressed. you Rebecca back in 2018 when just when I finished high school I started a YouTube channel about gaming shows movies but in Spanish and yeah like it's hard not to compare to others exactly especially like you know and then you get all this advice that's like oh don't like don't pay attention to the, n the numbers but it's kind of like but how can you not because the numbers are t are telling you what you're doing well and then I don't know, it's just, it's hard to not compare anything in life, like, not just content creation, although content creation, it's especially hard. I think because, just because it's like, y you are, you know, you're the content creator, you are solely responsible for your channels. Many have bled, suffered, and perished. It is your turn to die. Oh, that's rude. That is extremely rude. But at the end, that is not like a good thing to do. My favorite video ever in my channel has the worst view count, while a video I did just to hope, just to hope it got, would get more views has the best views. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's not that you should put the numbers first. You should still, like, you should still pay attention to what the numbers tell you because that, that'll tell you what your audience wants from you, right? But, like, you should put those second. You should, you should put the content first and the numbers second. Because when I started, 
it was really hard for me not to put the numbers, like, focus on the numbers first. Especially when I was on Twitch. Because on Twitch, it's so much harder to grow, like, because there's no offline growth like there is on YouTube. Like, I could post a video and I could just let it grow and grow on YouTube. And on Twitch, there's none of that. You can only grow when you're online. And I, I mean, I can't stream hours upon hours just like hoping I'll get noticed on Twitch. And it, so, it, like, it was really hard for me not to put the numbers first. And then on also on Twitch, like, if you have a bad stream, like, if you stream for four hours and you only get, like, one to five people coming in, that doesn't help you get partner at all, like... But everything on YouTube contributes to you getting partner, you know? Like, like somebody could watch one of my past live streams for five minutes and that would still contribute to my watch hours and getting partner. And then eventually, I, it was just something I had to like train myself out of. And then I really started putting the content first and um, like started making my small streamer diaries videos and s was streaming when I could and and that helped a lot. So while I'm still kind of like looking at the numbers, they don't affect me like they used to. Like if I have a video that didn't get a lot of views, I'm like, okay, like it's okay. I just have to keep doing the content. So it's like try mixing it up, doing a lot of things you love, but also maybe a video that you know can drive up views. Yeah, so I do like a combination of streaming and then uh, my small streamer diaries um, videos, which uh, if anyone in here doesn't know what those are, it's it's like a video series I do about being a small streamer. Because, and then, uh, you know, me, me and uh, Ben have talked about this a lot. Um, I find a lot of other small streamers aren't really doing their research and... They're not creating other content other than streaming, and they find it really difficult to grow. And I think that people are, personally, like, I think people are holding themselves back because they're not really looking at the information that's available to them. So I started making these videos just, like, talking about my experiences and the things I've learned, and I also think a lot of small streamers just... They see these videos from bigger creators and they just assume it doesn't apply to them. So I think like coming from another small streamer, I'm like, you know what? Yes, it does apply to you because I am also a small streamer at your level and these things also apply to me. And then I also do shorts on YouTube, which I know it doesn't, um, it doesn't help my watch hours, but I think it brings visibility to my channel. And I also post them on TikTok. But also, like, the shorts make me happy because, like, they're just little funny moments for my streams. Ooh, Redfield. I, I'm gonna give Redfield to Kid. That, that's gonna be really good for her because she has, um, the summon. And look at that, she's got a new slot opened up. Oh, Riddle has a new slot too. Oh, she's got two new slots. I'm gonna put another heal all in here. Or recover all? Let's do heal all. I don't know which one is better. Ice Blast in here. Surge also has a new slot. I'll give him a heal all here too, just in case. Just in case we need it. 
Okay, um, I really don't know where to go here. Oh, there's a treasure chest there, so I could go there. Views don't equal quality. YouTube just recommends videos, and it's probably if, if I bring up in more in new viewer subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I like about YouTube, is that it'll recommend videos and streams based on like what they think that you'll you want to watch and based on what you've watched in the past and twitch is like it's just about how many viewers somebody has at any given time so we're on twitch we're sorted by like the number of viewers that we have so if you're a brand new content creator and you go on twitch then you're automatically at the bottom of the list. But like, if I go on YouTube and I'm streaming, or I have videos about Chrono Cross, and you're, you're you know, you're looking at Chrono Cross stuff, then, uh... What is... Oh, he's got the flu. <laughs> you're looking at Chrono Cross content, then YouTube will... Or they might, I mean, I can't say they will 100%, but they might recommend my stuff to you, regardless of how many subscribers or views that I have. You can only somewhat increase your probabilities, but hey, like Scott the Waz has 1.6 million subs, yet he started doing videos more than 10 years ago and only in the last three years he started growing from like 200k to that number. Oh, wow. Yeah, he he's really stuck with it. That's good, though. That to me says that he just, he really enjoys doing the content. He put the content ahead of the numbers. Heal plus. Oh, okay. Only if somebody's element is green, which I don't have. But I think I've been doing okay. I've, I've been doing okay with my my cure pluses so far. I probably missed a whole bunch of treasure chests, but like, I it's so hard to navigate this place. Like, there's no map, and like I just I fell down a whole bunch of times, which is twice, but you know, that's a whole bunch of times to me. Is that why did that do so much damage to kid but like nothing to riddle and surge I discovered Amanda the Jedi and saw like three videos and I liked them so much I just assumed she had at least half a million subs then got shocked to find out she had 30k oh okay well I'm sure she'll continue to grow YouTube's a long game. Thirty K is good, though. I would love to have thirty K. And I mean, I wish I had started on YouTube a lot earlier. Because all the, like, the biggest channels, they all started when YouTube was early. And, like, before people started watching, or really started watching live streams, like, before live streaming really took off, all the biggest streamers were started streaming then. And that's one of the reasons they're the biggest streamers now. But that's, kind of, that's why I moved to YouTube, is because uh, there were... Not a lot of streamers on YouTube. And then also, like, I know that, like, being a variety streamer is not really a thing on YouTube. Which is, like, also why I just wanted, I wanted to do something first. Because, like, if you, if you want to, like, 
be great and be like do something big you have to do something first or you got to get somewhere early or you got to like do something you know that not everybody else is doing Just when I started watching her content, she did like rant videos about news and movie reviews. She decided to stick with movie reviews and now she has 500k. Oh, okay. So you found her when she had 30k and now she does have half a million. Okay. Gotcha. More rainbow shells. This tower is, like, so confusing. Winged shoes. I have not had those before. Improves evade percentage. Oh. Okay, I bet those are even better than the Kung Fu shoes. Which I don't know if I have those equipped on anybody. But I know that the Kung Fu shoes are better than the dancing shoes. Oh wow, kid. Kit's evade percentage is really high. Oh, she's got the Kung Fu shoes. Wow, 32% winged shoes. Okay, I'll give her those instead. I think, okay, wait, wings. Let's see Kid's defense. Forty-nine. Okay, yeah, she's got the weakest defense. So maybe... wait, where's... do I have the defender? Yeah. I'll give her the defender. So yeah, it's okay once in a while to like see the numbers and see what people react to the best while not stopping to do what you love. Experimenting with content is good, like your streamer diaries. Yeah, I totally agree. And you, you gotta have something other than just streaming your gameplay. And that's also another reason I started the Small Streamer Diaries, is because I wanted to create other content. Because I, I think what I've learned is that streaming, I think, should come secondary to your other content, because you can't be live all the time, you know? So you need to have something else that other people will watch when you're offline, and you're not going to be online for most of the time. I'm getting tired of hearing people say nobody watches live streams on YouTube when that's not necessarily true. There is nothing about Twitch that is special. You don't grow when you're offline. With YouTube, you grow whenever you're both online and offline. I totally agree, Ben. And I think, like, people, when they think of streaming, like, they do think of Twitch, but I, like, I still think that YouTube is better for long-term growth.
Like, I've had some people who are like, well, when I think of streaming, I do think of Twitch. But with the, the, all the stuff that YouTube is doing lately, they're, they're really, like, breaking out onto the live streaming scene. And I think that if you are are into streams at all, like watching live streams, then I think you know that YouTube also has live streaming. Spectral Glove. Just always try to be open-minded that views don't equal a success or determines what is good. Having fun and being true to yourself is real success. That is 100% true, Ricardo. Thank you for, thank you for saying that. I do feel like sometimes I need a reminder of that. Ooh, made out of rainbow shell. I don't know who uh, who uses a glove though. It is very difficult to not just like be focused on the numbers, but I've definitely learned a lot since I started content creation, and that's all I ever cared about at first. Like I was saying, but like I just I've trained myself out of not not that I never look at them because they are important. Like I was saying, like you gotta. You have to know what your audience is wanting from you. But they're not all that matters. As you said before, people have other things to do. They are not able to watch streams 24-7. Yeah, and that, that's like a huge problem on Twitch is that, you know, you only grow when you're live, so you have people um, streaming and streaming for like hours and hours. Like I see people streaming like every day for like seven hours at a time and just hoping that they'll grow because they need to be online and then they go on vacation or they have to take a break from streaming and they get like so worried about their channel. Like, oh my God, I can't go live for a week. Um, but ever since I've been on YouTube, I just like don't even worry about it. Like I'm like, okay, I can go on vacation and I don't even worry about my channel. 100% both me, I think of streaming, I think of YouTube, not Twitch. I discovered live streaming here, not on Twitch. For me, it was the other way around. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, I think for most people, it's actually the opposite. But uh, there are definitely people that watch streams on, on YouTube. You're right. Rebecca, a little bit off topic, but you said that soon this channel will turn a year old. Have any plans for the celebration? Um, no, not really. <laughs> I should start thinking of thinking of stuff though, but you know what? I don't. So Ricardo, I think I'll have to check. But I think my YouTube channel is not as old as my Twitch channel, because I did my very first stream on June first of last year, but that was on my Twitch channel. And then when I wasn't happy with my growth on my Twitch channel, I started looking at like, okay, how how do I grow my stream? And there was a lot of advice about like, okay, you should make other content. And then I made my YouTube channel so I could, you know, create other content on there. So I actually don't know how old my YouTube channel is. I'll have to check. You ain't gotta be like XQC and have to do these ridiculous long 12 to 14 hour live streams every day. Yeah, that that's not sustainable even for these giant streamers that they could just stay on Twitch and they'd be fine, but like these streamers, these top streamers that make millions of dollars and they have thousands and thousands of people in their streams every time, um, like even they are moving to YouTube and it's like, why? Like, oops, I hit my keyboard. It's like, why are even they, the top of the top streamers, why are they, like, it's not even sustainable for them. What does that mean for us as small streamers, you know? Then once you're offline on Twitch, you stop growing. I totally agree. Maybe a one year anniversary. Besides, you have had more positive growth here on YouTube than you have ever had on your Twitch channel. Yes. Yeah. Cause I get, you know, I get subscribers, not a lot, but I get subscribers when I'm offline on YouTube. I never have any offline followers on Twitch ex unless they're trying to do some like follow for follow thing. Just checked, it says June 24th, 2021. Oh, thank you for checking, Ricardo. Okay, so that was a few weeks after my Twitch channel then. Or wait, my Twitch channel, I, well, I started my Twitch account a long time before, maybe like a year before I started streaming. And then I was like watching people on Twitch, but I, I didn't stream until June 1st of last year. Could this be Viper Manor? What's going on? Terra Tower is Viper Manor? Um, 
so I I don't have any pl <gasps> It's Chrono and Marl and Luca. And is this the guru of time? Prophet, welcome. It's good to meet to see you finally made it here. Oh, that's he was in the library at uh I mean back in the world, the the Viper in Viper Manor. Follow for follow, that's really dumb. Yeah, and I, I find it more with people on Twitch than I find it on YouTube. People on YouTube, because with YouTube, like, you don't have to, you don't have to try so hard to put your name out there because the algorithm on YouTube is so much better. But, like, I've had some people be like, well, um, oh, don't blame the algorithm on Twitch, like, you, you still have to network and you still have to make good content and you're the streamer and that's I mean that's still true for YouTube too though like I'm still I still network and go and watch other people's videos and comment on them and make connections and you know put my name out there on Twitter and all that stuff but I don't have to do it like every second of every day like I had to do with Twitch because with Twitch like you have to try so much harder because the algorithm just doesn't work in your favor but with YouTube, like, the algorithm is just a tool, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a tool, you you still have to put the work in, whether or not you're on Twitch or YouTube, you still have to put the work in, but you, you know, we should be using the best tools that are available to us, and for me, the tool of YouTube's algorithm is the better tool. As I have said, being a follower on Twitch is not as fulfilling as being a subscriber here on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, on YouTube, like, w if I subscribe to somebody, it YouTube will immediately start showing me, like, recommending videos of the theirs from, like, a year ago. Or, like, similar channels. Maybe do a top games I played in my first YouTube year, like, for example, Chrono Cross being, I, I don't know, the third best. You talk about the game and why you liked it so much, why you recommend it. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you for that idea, Ricardo. Actually, I don't even, uh, I can't even remember what else I played on my YouTube channel. Oh, uh, Borderlands 2, Ratchet and Clank, Tiny Toons Wonderlands. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ricardo, though. I'll, I'll have to think about that. I've been expecting you, Surge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but never mind that. Is this the end of time? More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Who are you? My name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until Queen of Ze the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say things got out of control. Oh, okay, yeah. Things got a little bit out of control in Chrono Trigger. Yes, that, <laughs> that is accurate. And Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply that to the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which had been long, lo long since lost in the future. Anyway, this mean led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Ho ho ho. Anyway, I created a concept time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis and Fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. Terra Tower is really a city of the Reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azalea's descendants who are achieved a much more intimate evolution with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate.
Oh, okay. So that's why Terra Tower showed up when I killed Fate. Probably people that are just looking for new games will find the video and then keep checking your channel, joining the stream. Okay. This part is so good. I gotta go. Have a great week, Rebecca. All right, OP. Thank you so much for coming in. Have a good night. I, like I've been saying, I will not be able to stream Monday through Thursday next week, but I, I should be back next weekend. So hopefully I'll see you then, OP. But more important now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. Okay, I knew that part. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed away the dragon god's powers in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Okay... Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal away the dragon, dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate was actually the protector of humanity. Wow, what a twist. What a plot twist. Besides, the culture of Twitch is weird to me. Oh, really? What do you mean by that? The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form. What? A living accumulation of the planet's energy. That life form was a biological machine used to control the power of nature, powers of nature, in the future society of the reptites. Okay. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms. Oh, so fate split them up? It then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearances are just pseudo-guises. Temporary forms that they take so they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons, who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten... Wait. Seven? I thought there were six. Traveled across the dimensions to recombine into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six? That is what I just said. I just said it. Pokemon, she does not understand that the algorithm is how you di get discovered here on YouTube, including your videos and live streams. You want to know what I mean by weird? That streamers on Twitch have got to do the most outlandish things to get views on their channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Like, the channel rewards. Or they just, like, yeah, they... They... I think, you know, people on Twitch try really hard to stand out. And so they do, like, these crazy things. And even then, you know, Twitch is so oversaturated, so even then, sometimes they still don't stand out. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that was once lost, but later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now, and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons, ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon, and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, water dragon, green dragon, earth dragon, black dragon, sky dragon, and one more. Okay, well who is the last dragon? Just tell me. The final dragon, the dark moon dragon, the one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage to the fate computer. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you knew her as Harley. <gasps> what? Wait. What? <laughs> The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. 
Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our plan is vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this bloop planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now's the time to set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? Who is talking to me? The Chrono Cross, the harmony, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unity and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. Is Luca talking to me? Because they're all facing Luca. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. Oh, so that's what it's doing. Because I used Chrono Cross before and I was like, okay, but what did it do? Like, I didn't under understand. I have seen streamers on Twitch do li literally life-threatening things on stream. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, you never want to sacrifice your mental or physical health for content. And you never want to, like, make other people feel uncomfortable either for content. Well, welcome to Plot Twist Land! I know, right? This game just, like, throws a whole bunch of you all at once, huh? Like, it's like you go through a huge section of the game and then it's just like plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. And then you go through another big section of the game without, like, really knowing anything. And then it's just a more like plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. So I don't- I mean, I don't get what this means. Draw on the sounds of the six colored elements? It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another. Be careful now and good luck! Okay, I see a treasure chest up there. Isn't there a switch over here that lowered the ladder? Mm, okay, maybe not in this tower. Okay, now where do I go? Do I get a save point soon, or...? What are those things? Return our trees. Give back our green forests. Okay, I see, so the planet fighting back. And Twitch has been under fire over the last several days over that incident that happened in New York. Yeah. And a motor. Yeah, that, that though, I actually, I mean, I'm not sure what Twitch could have done about it.
Because he had to go three times in a row. You have kid. a lot. Oh, is he summoning? make a little prediction here about the whole platform of Twitch. I think within the next five to six years there is going to be mostly an exodus from the platform from big streamers. I agree. I agree completely. to say streamers uh so i think i think i did say streamers right i didn't even realize it didn't say streamers but i i completely agree and i think that i mean a lot of people are already leaving like even not just the big, big streamers but i saw a lot of people saying they wanted to um leave twitch i don't know if they actually did but a lot of people were saying they wanted to leave twitch on like after that news about Twitch wanting to do a 50-50 split but across all subs. Okay, somebody's poisoned. So I'm guessing I have to fight all of those that like corresponds to every element. So I've done, I think I've done three of them. So I did, I did green, red, and yellow. Holy healing, what is that? Restores all HP and status effects. Ooh, okay, okay. That's really good. I'm gonna put it in uh, surges. Actually, hmm, maybe I'll give it to Riddle. Oh, it has to be a level six. 
But he does have an element slot. A new one in level 8. In the next five to six years, it's going to be mainly scuffed or degenerate streamers that are going to be left on Twitch. The ones who would be te deemed too much of a brand risk for YouTube and the platform, aka the problematic streamers. Yeah. And then I think you, you'll also still have a whole bunch of smaller streamers on Twitch that just weren't really keeping up with the market or doing their research. This is why I advocate so hard for people to like do their research. Because you don't want to get left behind on a platform. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I think a treasure chest was there. Okay, luckily the enemies in here aren't too difficult. Purify? Why does he need purify? Okay, I'm I'm gonna get like really lost in this place. And these enemies are really annoying.
Oh, I just went back to the same place. Really? I could have just stepped on this the whole time. Oh, there's a save point. Seeing you get lost in this dungeon gives me war type flashbacks of me also getting super lost in the same dungeon many years ago. I mean, I did, it's so confusing and you don't have a map. I mean, these old games, man. Surge up there. That must be the summit. I honestly, I don't, you know, Ricardo, I don't think anyone would play this and not get lost in this dungeon. Look, those two beams are coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of sealing device. You're probably right, Riddle. Okay, well, I finally got my save point. I think I'm doing all right with Kid and Riddle, so I'll just stick with them. Okay, we're- here's- mm, wait, where's my last save? With Riddle and Kid. This one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two slots right next to each other. So, Korcha and- is that Norris? I think that's Norris. So Korcha and Norris's file six and seven. I'm gonna use these two for this dungeon. Because I have a feeling that this is I'm not gonna just be able to leave easily. Oh man, that looks scary, but also like awesome looking. Good thing I just saved. You are a very wholesome as a person and streamer and content creator. Oh Ben, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, what is this thing called? Gravitor, okay. Wow, he did a ton of damage. Oh, really? Okay, good thing I've got revive. And good positive vibes. I really appreciate that. Ben, thank you so much for saying that.
Really? Well, he's gonna be a problem. And why only go after Surge? I think, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try again. Because I think Riddle only had one revive. Okay, let me check. Yeah, Surge has both revives. Riddle has one. She also, she has holy healing, but I don't think that revives. Restores all HP and status effects, so it doesn't revive. Okay, we're just gonna try that again. I do like though that they let you run away from bosses and then just like try again. That is not something I've typically seen in a game. Like I didn't even think that you could run away from bosses. Okay, you know what, I got through the first three like no problem and now all of a sudden this one's a problem. wonder if he's got anything I can steal. Demon charm, hmm. playing this part during the weekend it was like 2 or 3 a.m and the music was putting me to sleep a bit <laughs> yeah i i can definitely see that the music is definitely very slow okay i'm gonna try and some status effects on him.
Oh my god. Really? I guess I'll heal Riddle. I don't even know what this does. Defense and magic defense increased, okay. I mean, that's something. Okay, this, this guy's gonna be a problem, like more so than the other ones. And I was doing so well. Might as well get everybody healed up. I mean, they're not doing like bad, but I want to make sure I try to get everybody to survive. But I mean, honestly, like if I get through this and just with just one person surviving, it's good enough for me. Whoa, that did so much damage. <gasps> Is he dead? <gasps> he died! I did it! I honestly thought that was gonna go on for way longer. Alright, nice. I had everybody survive. Okay, black hole, what is that? I'm guessing black hole is an element for somebody that has a innate black element. Yes. Sucks everything in the area into a super vacuum. Okay, definitely time to save.
No, not that one. Save! Okay, so I said I would use Portra and Norris's slots. Okay, I want to just see if anything happens if I go up here. Looks like we need to do the same for the other side. Oh, so they say, okay. Hmm, I should have gone up to the door before just to see what they said. I mean, they will pro they probably just said, like, oh, we need to break the seals or something. Oh. Oh. I see with the wind. Okay, I mean, that wasn't too difficult. Ugh, another one of these? Okay, well, I beat you once. I can do it again. They tricked me. Now it's a white element one. Okay, well, you know what? We're fine. We're gonna be fine. I think it probably was more of a problem that I had two white element people fighting a black element enemy. Uh, no, we won't do that yet. Okay, you know what? I mean, if you're gonna kill somebody, Kid was the best one to kill because she's the only one that doesn't have revives. I'm scared of a third eye awakening, as if my spiritual awakening, awakening was already enough. A third eye awakening? What does that mean? Okay, we're gonna have Kid do this and then we'll we'll use Riddle or Surge to heal her. Alright, good good amount of damage. No! That just like negated all the damage I did. When you reach higher level of consciousness spiritually, you can open your third eye. Oh, okay, interesting. So, like, what does that mean, though? Like, opening your third eye?
This means you're reaching higher level spiritually, higher level vibrations. Oh, okay. So, but wait, why would you be afraid of uh, getting your third eye awakening? Okay, so far, I mean, at least I haven't had, it doesn't seem as bad as the other one. I think I can steal from him too. Just because some people have said having a third eye looks awful, like Tian from Dragon Ball Z, and also some people have had demons attack them from doing third eye awakenings. Oh. Yeah, you definitely don't want that. Oh wait, what did I just steal? I was looking at chat. Oh well, I'm sure I will uh, look in my accessories later and figure it out because I stole I stole a charm from the other one, demon charm or something. Wait, I'm gonna do red pin to him instead. I had my spiritual awakening and I haven't been the same since. Mm, okay, yeah, I think you have talked about that before. Okay, much easier than the other one. Ultra Nova, ooh. What is up there? Okay, first of all, let's check out what we got. The demon charm, okay. I mean, I already had one of those. I probably got an angel charm. Causes an explosion of high density energy. Oh. Definitely sounds like it's good to have. The weird thing is that I ended up being a born again Christian too. I felt the Holy Spirit every day and it's just bizarre. I grew up with my evangelical Christian mom, super spiritual, but it's all for the best. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mel Buster. Sounds like you went through a lot.
Okay, now we definitely go save again. So I guess I didn't have to defeat all of those, like, element egg, th egg things. I don't even know what they were. Or maybe I should have? Like, maybe they gave me items that I, like, good accessories or armor or something? I don't know. This song again fell asleep for, like, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. I guess I... If I ever have trouble sleeping, I know what music to put on. Okay, so what I'm also going to do here is I am going to see if I can forge anything. Oh, I can make this for Riddle. Glove. Mithril Glove. Okay, so Rico Grobic, Pip, um, Mer Marcy, Zoa, and Mojo use gloves. So that was the, the thing I got from that treasure chest. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff. I feel like um, there was a lot of other things I could have explored. Oh, I already had one for her. Oh well, whatever. I feel like there's a lot of other areas I could have explored here, and I just, like, happened to get to where I needed to go. But I guess that's okay. I mean, that's why I don't use walkthroughs the first time I play a game, is because, like, you wanna- or at least I want to, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it if somebody wants to use a walkthrough the entire time. I just kind of prefer to, like, you know, like, not have- spoilers and then just kind of like discover things for myself and in that way also you know it's for the content gotta do everything for the content because i have you know i have those reactions that people like to see apparently because like some of these walkthroughs i do like read them and it tells me what's coming i've only once experienced sleep paralysis and at like 3 a.m i woke up not being able to sleep again, so literally had to use a Final Fantasy relaxing video, mix video, to stop feeling scared. Oh man. Sorry to hear that, Ricardo. I've never had sleep paralysis, but it sounds scary. I'm glad that, um, uh, Final Fantasy music helped you, though. Disrespecting the origins of life. Mother Sea sufferers. You must pay the price. Okay, so I do have to fight more of these things. Okay, so maybe I didn't go the wrong way after all, but I do feel like I missed a lot of areas. I mean, not that I went the wrong way, obviously, because this is the right way. Aquator. Because I'm running into more bosses, but um, I feel like I missed a lot of treasure chests. That was definitely like a critical hit.
Okay, definitely have to heal Surge. He took a beating. Ugh. Iceberg? That's a new one. Oh my god. Really? Okay, well, we gotta try again. So is this one? Really?
Alright, I was gonna try to do red field and then her summon, but I don't think I'm gonna pull it off. He's casting too many blue elements. Okay, uh, maybe it wasn't such a great idea taking Kid, since she's a red element. Right now, I think I'm just gonna get focused on getting everybody healed up. Okay, kids back at full stamina. Oh, well, he's almost down, he's kneeling. Okay, that did it. All right, see, I learned from my mistakes. Actually, I didn't, I guess I didn't, because I didn't really do anything different.
Um, what was that? Okay, and somebody has the flu. Okay, we are definitely going to save after that. Oh, wait. Why am I up here? Oh, because I went up the stairs. That's why I was up there. That would make sense. Okay, I I could stop here, but I'm not going to, because I think I'm really close to the end of the game. I'm going to play a little bit more, and if I am still not at the end of the game, I'll just finish it next time, hopefully, maybe. I mean, I feel like I'm going to play this game for the rest of my life. I mean, it's not like, I mean, I'm, I liked it, I'm enjoying it, but I, I am ready to be done with it. It is not as good of a game as Chrono Trigger is. I have these games where I'm like, I'm sad that it's over. And I don't want it to end. And it's not that this game is bad. This game is really good. I just think it is, it is extremely long and there are enough flaws in it. Where I like, it's not one of those games where I just want it to keep going forever. Kill me. Welcome. What? Welcome, humans. Those who know the torment and joy of creation also know the pleasure and pain of destruction. Therefore, all that pass through here must be prepared to share the burden that I carry. What is that thing? This is definitely like a final boss arena, you know what I mean? This looks like that area, the Sky Dragon Isles island, but like stone instead of grass. I guess that makes sense because it was the Sky Island Isle, like Sky Dragon Isle that turned into this. Whoa, creepy. <coughs> Oh, is that the frozen flame? So this is the true frozen flame. Struth. Struth? It is the frozen flame. Hold on, don't touch it. Did it anyway. Is everyone okay? Screw you. Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer. Come on, show your bloody self. Oh boy. Well, you got what you asked for, kid. In order to survive all living things in this world, fight desperately and devour those they defeat. Must kill- must one kill other living things in order to survive? I mean... Yeah, basically. I guess except, like, plants. Must one destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue? The wounded in turn would wound and torment those weaker than themselves. That is true. That's a- that's like the cycle of abuse. There are only the killers and the killed, the sinners who are judged, and the victims that do the judging. I mean, I do judging all the time, and when I'm not a victim, so there's that. What meaning is there to such a world? Whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know? You've got no right to deny that. I shall cleanse this blue planet of you filthy humans once and for all. Oh boy. That is, that is some final boss music.
So, this is the combination of all the dragons then, huh? Time Devourer. Okay, so it's a white element, so I guess Surge's taxes are not going to do much against it. I don't... I don't know what this is going to do to it. Uh, maybe I'll- I'm gonna try to steal. I'm gonna see what it has. If anything. Oh, it does have something. Holy healing. Okay, well, I don't think that's gonna help me now since I can't just, like, equip stuff on the fly. kid right now because she took the most damage from that last attack or you know what I'll just heal everybody I'm just gonna do I'll do as much healing as I can just to make sure that everybody survives So you know what I do find interesting in this game is that there's no elements that are, that like, oh wait, never mind, I guess there are. I was gonna say, there's no elements that like give you like protection, like temporarily increases your defense, but there are. So I don't know what I was talking about. Um, let's, uh, let's do some status effects on it. And you know what else I find interesting is that Status effects will work on bosses, because that is something I normally don't see in a game. Try to use a summon this time. Okay, what is that? What is happening right now? What? Okay. Why did he just take me to like a new area? Like what does this do for you? And now my- the- okay. Well, the field effect thing did like no- nothing for me since he just changed it anyway. 
I've never been able to pull off a summon in this game. Effects unknown. Chrono Cross. Okay, maybe I'll try doing Chrono Cross. I mean, I still don't understand what it does. Fire, right? Okay, wait. Wait. Did it change its element? Oh, it did. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Square Enix games have the best, or I guess it, at the time it wasn't Square Enix, but Square games have the best music. So that's why it changed to a different environment, because that means it changed its element. Good thing I checked, because it, like, it was just something I thought of right before I had Kid cast something. I think we're changing elements again. Probably should have saved that one for when he goes to black element, but I think it I think it's fine. Okay, now what are you? Red. So Ice Splash should do some damage against you.
Nice, I missed. I thought she was gonna die. Okay, we're we're pretty good on HP. Not fully maxed on HP, but we're almost. I guess this is when it would have it would be really good to have a good mix of elements as he's changing elements all the time. Okay, now I'm guessing he's green. Yes. some healing now. I think I'm gonna heal Riddle and then we should be good on HP. Kid and Surge are pretty close to being maxed out. Was he blue now?
I'll do a heal. Do you have any advice for a 35 year old who wants to get into streaming and make it successful or do you have to be at a certain age to do it? No, I don't think you have to be at a certain age. I mean, um, there's a lady who streams who is is like a grandma, like her her name, her uh, gamer tag is like tactical grandma or something like that. And she's she's like really popular. She's a Facebook gaming partner. So I don't think you have to be a certain age to do it. It's just it's just a matter of like if you well when it comes to content creation, um, you know people come to con to see content generally to get information or to be entertained. So I think it's more of a matter of like are you are you really knowledgeable about something? Can you teach people something or? just like break down information for them or can you entertain them and you can do that at any age I think if you, I mean, if you start when you're younger, but just like anything else, when you start when you're younger, it just gives you a better chance of being su successful because then you have more time to learn the market and like the skill. But you can start at any age. Really? Riddle has a revive left. Oh, she does. That's my only revive on Riddle, though. So if Surge dies again, I guess I should have given one revive to Kid, too, so that I, each of them had a revive. Okay, so if I seal his... He's a black element right now, so I can... S oh, really? Tried to seal his black elements and it missed. healing. Okay. Then 
didn't do as much damage as I was expecting. Back to white. Riddle has this heal, which is not like an equipable thing, it's her one of her techs. So I got an extra heal out of her. Surge actually has a lot of cures left. I guess I've been using mostly Riddle to heal. Bye for
Did Riddle still suck? I used, still use Farco for stealing and Starkey for physical hit damage healing. I used White Plate Surge, Red one Fargo, and the Black one Starkey before fighting this boss. Okay, well, I mean, I think there's different ways of defeating all bosses and enemies, you know? I mean, I personally like Riddle a lot. Kid is, I mean, I like her. I don't know if I like her as much as Riddle, but I still enjoy using her. Now I shall truly awaken again. This too is destiny. That thing, the dragon god, it is only a quasi-existence. A temporary form that the real dragon god uses in order to appear in this dimension. The actual dragon god was consumed long ago, swallowed by that being on the other side of the dimensional darkness. The frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being Lavos. Oh. The one who connects with the frozen flame in effect links with Lavos itself. As the mediator between Lavos and living things, that one will gain extraordinary powers. By binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. What in blazes is a de Devourer of Time? Well, we just fought something called the Time Devourer, so... Now go to the place where time became divided and weave the threads of time together again. Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form. Born from the fusion of a life form from this planet with Lavos, who nests on the far side of the, the dimensional void. In the far off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. Then the devourer of time will begin to consume all space time continua, despair and hatred, to return all things to nothingness. Th that is what it desires. Here, take this with you. Serge received the time egg. The time egg will enable you to travel beyond space-time. The world is in your hands. Go, release the life that is imprisoned. What in bloody hell is happening? This place is going to crumble to pieces. They just ran off and left Surge. Um, okay. So that's Terra Tower's final true form. In the end, we're all the same. Everyone dreams of being greater, more powerful. We have come this far. All that remains is to defeat the Devourer of Time. So, I just fought the Time Devourer, and now I have to fight the Devourer of Time. Once we wipe the Devourer of Time off the face of this planet, it is all over. Hopefully everything will go back to normal again. You're wrong. Things won't ever go back to the way they were. Destiny, fate is dead. From now on, us humans have to choose our own way in life. 
we also have to take responsibility for the choices we make. And something's got to be done about the way we go around hurting and killing one another. We've got to settle our differences once and for all. Listen, what's really important is what we do now. The issue ain't about ain't whether we defeat the that bastard or not. I'm afraid that depending on how we go about it, we could lose out on gaining something really precious. So the issue is the way we fight. So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key to finding it lies at that beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's probably also probably where this whole thing will end. Okay, cool. So I'm still not done with this game. Okay, we're gonna save right here and end it. I thought maybe I was gonna finish the game <laughs> in the stream, but yeah, I'm not going to. It looks like, though, next time I will. All right. Well, we've been, <laughs> been through a lot with this game, but it's still not over. So I am gonna end it there for the night. Um, once again, as a reminder, I cannot stream Monday through Thursday of this upcoming week, but I should be back this weekend. Um, depending on if my friends want to play Borderlands this weekend because they wanted to play it tonight, but um, I couldn't get the game installed in time, so we'll see. Um, but I should be back at, this, at some point this weekend either playing Chrono Cross or Borderlands. Um, if my friends can't do this weekend with Borderlands, I'll be back to playing Chrono Cross and... I mean, it sounds like I'll finish it next time, but we'll see because this game seems like it goes on forever, so. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Have a good night, and I'll see you in the next streamer video. Bye.